So welcome back to the Grilling with RVH patio here this evening. We are cooking or smoking some boneless pork loin pork chops on the Masterbuilt 1050. You can see the smoke's already rolling. I already have some ABTs or jalapenos stuffed with cream cheese and wrapped with bacon on the smoker already. Been smoking for a little while now. We're going to take these pork loin, boneless pork loin pork chops, um, pre-seasoned already from HEB. I didn't have time to thaw anything out and I was just really kind of lazy, let's just be honest. And so I just grabbed these at HEB today. I wanted to cook something on the 1050, didn't know what. So I said, hey, pre-seasoned pork chops, why not? Let's do it. So we're going to put these on there, about 225. Uh, smoke them to an internal temp. I think it's 145-ish. Pull them off and see how they are. These are seasoned with a Texas style seasoning. So hopefully a savory, not so much a sweet seasoning. Um, but yeah, you can see the, the wood smoke rolling. I got a couple of chunks of pecan wood down in the uh, burn bin, the ash can, and then some pecan wood sprinkled in the lump charcoal there in the hopper. So let's go ahead and uh, open this up. See those uh, those poppers are getting good. So we're just gonna take these and put these right on the smoke side here. These are oh I don't know half an inch, three quarters of an inch thick. These poppers are, or excuse me, these pork chops are. Gonna move them. Actually, you know what? Nah, that'll be fine right there. And get these good and going now got seven of them one two three four five yep seven of them i don't math well you have to forgive me <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and get those rolling let me grab my little uh my glove here for just a moment i'm gonna this is the master built built this is the one probe that comes with the master built i've also got a uh fireboard that i'm monitoring temps on i'm gonna put uh, several of those probes uh, in space them out among the pork chops and that way we can monitor the temp and uh, take them off when they get to about 145 ish be back after this so one thing I did I have noticed with the fireboard I placed the fireboard ambient probe right about the same location as the uh, master built one and I did notice there is a difference of about 10 to 15 degrees so master built reading 225 for example fireboard reads about 210 to 12 so that's every every smoker I've ever had this pellet smoker this rec tech does the same thing what I do is I just simply boost the temp to match the fireboard because the fireboard is incredibly accurate so we'll just go ahead and bump this up to 240 and then we'll be smoking right at about 225 where those pork chops are sitting. So anyway, smoke's rolling, smelling real good. We're going to let those cook. Howling with hurricane force winds. <laughs> Looks like these are just about done. Let's check them with ye old thermopin. Yep, that was done. That was done. That was done. That was done. Yep. Yep. And yep. So they're all good to go. Let's get them out and get them in the pan and get them wrapped up and take them inside to rest and wait for the wife to get off work and eat some good pork chops.
got them wrapped up in the pan. We're going to take them inside. You need pork chop. I wonder what she'll say about it. Yeah, okay. Maybe. <laughs> she'll eat about a quarter of that. Maybe.